Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the problem solving strategy work backward. Let's dive into the problem. Julio currently has a monthly budget of $1,200 per month. Six months ago, he moved into a new apartment, which increased his budget by $300. Three months before that, he finished paying off his car, which had a monthly payment of $350. Three months before that, Julio began paying off his student loans, which are $150 per month. What was Julio's monthly budget one year ago? So as always, we're going to start by making sure that we understand the problem. So first, we know that Julio now has a budget of $1,200 per month after some changes occurring over the last year. When we go to devise a plan, Working backwards would seem appropriate here, starting with what we know is current with Julio and working backwards with the changes that occurred for him. So let's start with what we know about now. Julio's budget right now is $1,200. The first change that we're told about happened six months ago. He moved into a new apartment, which increased his budget by $300. So an increase would typically mean add. So since we're working backwards, we're going to subtract that out. That means that six months ago, his monthly budget would have been $900. The next information we have is three months before that. So three months before six months ago would be nine months ago. At that point, he finished paying off his car. That car payment was $350. So since he's ceasing to pay that, we would normally subtract, but since we're working backwards, we're gonna add that. So we're gonna take that $900 and add in that car payment he was paying to say that nine months ago, Julio's monthly budget was $1,250. Finally, three months before that, or one year ago, Julio began paying off his student loans, which we would think of as an addition to his monthly budget, but now, since we're working backwards, we're going to subtract that. So 1,250 minus 150 gives us a monthly budget of $1,100. So we have our answer. Julio's monthly budget was $1,100 one year ago. Looking back, we need to think about, did we answer the question? Absolutely, we found that monthly budget. Was the strategy of working backwards appropriate? Definitely. All right, guys, that does it for this video on problem solving working backwards. To see more examples, we'll catch you in the next video.